Dell Lab Manager Giant Technologies. I'm here with you today to talk about how pain affects sprinkler performance. If you're looking at NFPA 25, specifically under 5.2 inspections of sprinkler systems, they state the following. Any sprinkler that shows signs of the following shall be replaced. And in there they list paint other than that applied by the sprinkler manufacturer. And why is that? Today we're going to look at how paint affects the performance on these sprinkler heads. Let's start with some that don't have any paint, just to get a baseline, and then we'll have some that have paint. Also go to additional types. Let's get started. So the first head I'm going to run today is just a Grinnell F950, 165 degree Fahrenheit head. Fusible link is a release mechanism here. I'm going to do four just to give you an idea of how these perform without paint. As with all our videos, the machine's already got up to temperature and calibrated before use today. We should be good to go. These heads here are supposed to go off between 30 and 139 seconds. Usually they're on that lower end side. I'd expect around 40, 50, somewhere in there. 37.3 seconds. Let's do another one without paint. Again, we just want to do a couple of the kind of baseline. What we can expect from up paint. Thirty-nine point six seconds. Hopefully you're also able to hear that pop, but I'm also gonna be calling out the time today. Third one, don't paint again, we're now at nine fifty. Thirty-eight point eight. Getting pretty close on all these that forty seconds. Again, we want to be between thirty and one hundred and thirty-nine requirement for this head. And I'm going to do the last one of the Grinnell F950. 39.7 seconds. So after this one, we'll take a look. We're going to look at some that are fully paid. 39.4. So that gives us a good baseline. Almost 20 seconds long these heads for no paint. So we'll do four, we'll do four of them that have nothing but paint throughout. Simply spray painted them white. Again, we've got a white ceiling. They look good, right? But will it work? So let's see how it's done. While waiting for this one, we'll go over a little bit of why the paint could cause some issues. That paint on that release mechanism, whether it be glass ball or solder type, can either insulate it, it can also hold it together to not release. You could also be looking at the water seal. This could be an instance where the release mechanism goes, but the water seal stays intact, the paint's holding it in place. We also have the issue of paint on the deflector, which we won't see in a response time here, but the paint on the deflector can affect that water distribution pattern, all of which are issues. We're already about 40 seconds. I don't know if you could hear it there right when I was talking about 44, 45 seconds. The release mechanism went. You could hear that release mechanism pop and hit against the side, but my timer's still going. You don't hear that timer stop. This is a case where that release mechanism went, but that water seal hasn't popped. We'll give it a bit more time. We'll go up past that 139 requirement just to give it that full time. Then we'll pull it out, and if the water seal hasn't gone by then, I can show you that. Okay, I'm up past my 139 seconds. My timer hasn't gone off yet. Is that water seal? Something's keeping that from that pressure going up. Let's take a look. My timer's simply going to go off just because I lifted it out. Let's take a look. So as you can see, that release mechanism has gone, but that water seal, that's still intact. But you can see that paint's just holding that water seal on. So in this case, if a fire happened, the water seal would go. A sprinkler head wouldn't go off though, that water can't get out of it. Let's take a look at another one. Again, we're going to do four of the same. This is the second one in this set, fully painted. Might not 
ask yourself why the manufacturers allow to paint them. That is because they're going to paint these pieces before they're all put together. They're not going to paint it once in one unit and they can all seal together. They're going to do them separately, then put it together. So I don't know if you can hear that. Again, in about 45 seconds, 46 seconds, you heard that pop. My timer did not go off. Again, that release mechanism went. A piece of bowling clip, that water seal staying intact. This is very common for paint on these sprinkler heads. The release mechanism, well, insulated a little bit. Again, we're going from late 30s, 40s, up to 45, maybe 46. There's a little bit of insulation, or it's being held together a little bit. You can hear there, 70.6. Let's actually take a look and see what happens. So this, actually, even though it stopped at 70.6, with just a little bit of air leaking out the side there, I don't know if you can see, it's pretty small. That water seal is still intact, though. That waterway did not clear. Again, this would not pass. Let's try a third one, see if we have the same result. As I was saying, though, it's very common for these leaning heads and release mechanisms to go off. But that water seal is a big deal. Same thing with corrosion. It's that water seal staying intact that's preventing this head from releasing. If you watch our loading video, it's almost the opposite. A lot of times we're seeing the release mechanism impacted. Either it's insulated and can't release, or it's just pushed back in time. Sometimes quick response said that insulation is enough to cause it to fail. So there you heard the release mechanism, about 50 seconds on that one. Let's see if that water seal gets, you know, pops a little bit or not. A little bit of information on these heads of painting them about three days ago, right before the weekend. I'm filming this on a Monday. So we've had a little time for that paint to dry on them. It is just a uh, regular white spray paint. I just spray painted them. Again, we'll give this the 139, then we'll pull it out and see. Okay, we're up past 139 seconds. Let's take a look. Again, the tires are still out. This from the mechanic lab from opening up the machine. Again, release mechanism, no problem. Wet. That paint though, that's holding on that water seal. That's still on there. Let's give it one more shot. Same thing, fully spray painted. There goes the water seal in about 45 seconds. Again, my timer has not gone off because, or excuse me, the release mechanism at about 45 seconds. Again, the water seal stayed intact with that paint on it. Ah, 128.8 seconds. So that water seal has partially come off. I didn't hear it fully drop, so I guess again. Hear it hissing a little bit as I take it out. Try to hold it there. Again, it's really hard to see probably on this camera. It's just right where that water seal meets that frame, kind of right where my finger is, right there. So we ran these Grinnell F950s, the fusible length. Let's try out some different variety ones here. Okay, so let's do a different solder type mechanism. Again, we got reliable Model G, 165 degree Fahrenheit temp head. No paint, we're going to do four of them. Let's see how they do. Thirty-nine point three seconds. Will be clear. Second one. Rely on the model C. No paint. Forty-two point six seconds. Third one. No paint. Forty-two point two seconds. And the last one with no paint. We're seeing them all in about that forty range. Expect to see the same with this one. After this one goes, we'll try some of the paint. To see how paint affects this solder mechanism versus the F nine fifty. 
seconds. Alright, let's try some of the patients. So all four of these will be full covered. You can see release mechanism, deflector, water seal, it's all painted. The Orient is the best case scenario. The heat's going to hit that solder mechanism first. Keep in mind the requirements for this head, 30 to 139. Also keep in mind it was going out in about 40, 43, 45 seconds in all these heads. Let's see if this one has the water seal stand with the release mechanism go. We'll even see it with that F950. 42.3, this head actually looks thicker than that water seal though. It doesn't seem to be affected by it. The water seal went, this one did release. Fully clear. Let's try another one and see if this one has any effect. Again, Paint it all around. You can see how uh, it's, it's hard to predict if it's going to go off or is it not with this paint on there. Again, don't take the risk. If there's paint on it, replace it. 42.6, again, this whole Check that water seal. Sure. Yep, really clear. Third one, fully painted. Forty-two seconds here. It's very quiet, but I heard that release mechanism go. It dropped to the bottom. The water seal hasn't gone yet, though. There we go, 49.3 seconds. Take a look at that water seal. Huh. Now this is an interesting one here. As you can see, the paint definitely causes some issues. You can see in the middle there, that pellet is out of there. That pellet went. But the rest of that release mechanism stayed intact. The water coming out, or the air coming out in this case, that pressure wise, is any, again, you can't really see it. It's right near that copper gasket, that water seal, that it's coming out. This head did not clear fully. Compared to the first two, we see the inconsistency with these paint. Sometimes they go, sometimes they don't. Don't take your risk. Let's try a fourth one and see what happens. Again, fully painted. This one again, you can see that pellet in the middle. You missed it before. And that last one we just ran, that pellet went. A little bit of air escaped the side, but that's it. Again, best case scenario. So 40 seconds there. Again, very faint, but you can hear that pellet drop to the bottom. Let's see if this one goes off. That water seal doesn't come off for 139. We're just going to let it go all the way to 139, then we'll lift it up and see what we got going on. 62.1. I didn't really hear the water seal drop, though. I'd be curious to see what it looks like. Same thing as the last one, but different than the first two. Again, that pellet dropped out. The pressure is enough to kind of push that water seal up a little bit, leaking some air. Again, this did not fully clear, this would not work as intended, this would fail. So we've done some solder sign mechanisms, let's do some glass bulbs. This one's also quick response, so this head here, looks like we had a reliable, it's only a 155, but we tested it at the same temperature. Quick response glass bulb, got to go off in 17 seconds, let's see how it does. No pain on this one. Again, we're going to be four without pain and four with pain. These should be a little bit quicker. Eleven point eight seven. See the quick response has how fast they go. Fully clear, no problem. Another one, no pain. Only nine seconds of now. Again, yeah, no problem. Third one, no pain.
Ten point seven millions. All right, last one. Ten seconds again. All these have for about ten seconds under. Let's try some of the paint. Again, fully painted, reflector, release mechanism, water seal. You can't even see that red bulb anymore. Let's see how this does. Keep in mind in their quick response, they have to go out with this specific cataract test, 17.1 seconds. Even if it releases, we'll go off in time. We saw this issue with loading or quick response. Quick response had that loading is enough to push it up past the requirement. 11.2 is going to Take a look at it, make sure everything's clear. Yep, looks fine, everything's clear. Might have pushed up the time a little bit, but not by too much. Again, more paint. Second set. Ten point eight. Third one, seconds there, I heard a little pop, I'm not quite, it sounded, perhaps that was a glass ball, but the water didn't go. Up past 17, 18.5 seconds, that's past the requirement on this one. Looks like it's going to go up over eventually, though. The water seal did clear. Again, not enough, though, it took too long. Again, you can see the inconsistency with this, these painted heads, don't take the risk. Last one with paint, again, last ball, quick response. About 11 seconds from that So that one went out. You can see the inconsistency. I hope this video gives you an idea just how pain is detrimental to the performance of a spring bear.